Hello, and what we're going to do is we're going to do the second part in uh, our fifth unit, uh, which is talking about cell cycle. And this is going to be the actual mitosis section of it. And we're going to talk about the animation you see right here, where we start with a cell, we get centrioles, we get the nuclear membrane to disappear, get uh, chromatin to make chromosomes, sister chromatids, and they line up in the center. They get, half of it gets pulled one side and the other side, and then we get uh, we get a cell starting to get a cleavage furrow, and then it becomes two daughter cells. Then it reaches uh, into G1 where it grows and synthesis where we make new chromosomes, sister chromatids, and then we finally end up making a two cell ready to go through a, a two mitotic to make four cells. Okay, so second slide. These are all going to be eukaryotic cells because prokaryotic cells do it by binary fission. They just pinch off and they go. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to get a cell that looks like this in each of the um, sections. and I'm going to want you to draw it. You don't have to draw this one because you'll get it in the first one interface. Um, but we're going to talk about the first the different forms of chromosomes. Chromosomes come in different forms, three different forms. It's a long chain and then it actually makes one half of this X shape and then it makes the X shape. They're more than one form of DNA. They're all found in the cell at some point in time. Chromosomes found this way is called chromatin. Chromatin are long, six foot long strands. They almost look like spaghetti in this picture. They're the nuclear pore, which I'll show you an animation or a movie that will actually show you uh, the chromosomes actually being uh, translated into RNA and then the RNA comes out to make the proteins and here's that cell we're going to draw again not yet this is the normal phase of chromatin when the cell is going through its normal process whether it's a blood cell which do not have nucleus that's not a good example a muscle cell a bone cell a skin cell a hair cell um, any type of cell when the cell is doing what it's supposed to do the DNA is found as chromatin a little closer to the point where we're going to start dividing, it actually becomes chromosome. And the chromosome is this X-shaped creature. It's actually made of two sister chromatids. That's a chromatid right there, and there's a chromatid right there held together by a centromere. The centromere will break. Um, you can see the DNAs on this side, and these are um, homologous pairs. There actually should be the same material on both sides because it was read that direction. It was copied that direction. This one's going to go to one cell. This will go to the other cell, and if this is a human uh, we'll actually have 23 pair. This one we only have three pair of chromosomes, so six chromosomes where we have 46. Oh, here's one movie. Um, I'll actually put this in there. I'm not going to show you everything, otherwise this video will be really long. In fact, maybe what I'll do is I'll, sh I'll show that uh, video in uh, another movie, but uh, I'll put the YouTube video link, which you can see right there, um, but if you just type in how DNA is packaged advanced, uh, you can see it's a very cool movie. The other form is called chromatid. This is a chromatid, and the chromatid is a half of a chromosome. We get another chromatid, and these are called the sisters, the two sister chromatids, held together by the centromere. And the centromere will split when we go through mitosis, and we'll actually get these things going. These homologous pair will split, and we'll get half of this going, and we can somehow get these overlapping where we can actually start changing these homologous pairs. So this is how we get mutations, and we'll talk more about that in Unit 7, I think, which is genetics. Cell cycle. This is a very important uh, section in the cell. This goes through all the mitotic phases. Uh, we're going to get asters. We're going to get centromeres. We're going to get um, long tubules coming out, which are going to grab onto the centromere and rip the chromosomes apart. This is where we're really going to start talking about the skeleton of the cell, uh, the microtubules that uh, actually make up the centromere. This is a picture of the centromere inside of a cell. This is only found in animal cells, so centrioles are only found in animal cells. They are microtubules, like I said. They're strings or fibers. Um, they actually move or split the chromosomes around the cell when we actually go through uh, the phases, most, mostly metaphase. Um, cell cycle, important vocabulary. Uh, we have what's called a cell plate. When plant cells, and you can tell it's a plant cell again by its shape, when plant cells go through mitotic division, it actually starts making a cell wall um, in between the two daughter cells. When we actually start getting to the end of the cell cycle, those are called cell plates. It is a, 
uh, kite to genesis type material um, so it's very similar to uh, fingernails material it's in only in plant cells and it starts to grow and separate in the middle in animal cells we have what's called a cleavage furlough and this is when cytokinesis goes through animal cells it actually pinches inward and this is a picture of a chicken egg going through its first cleavage and its first division and it, that's the cleavage furlough here's another one this was a frog I think and it's actually gone through a second so we're going to actually create four cells these two and the two on the far side but those are the cleavage furlough this is another video which I am going to show you. Um, this I think is like two minutes long, a minute long. As this plant cell, taken from a lily, prepares for division, the chromosomes first condense. And you can see the chromosomes starting to form. You can't really see the X shape Next, yet. but the mitotic spindle lines them up in the center of the cell. Can't really see that in a plant cell. At the metaphase to anaphase transition, the sister chromatids of every chromosome pair separate suddenly in striking synchrony. The so here they are separating. Chromosomes are pulled along the microtubules of the spindle to opposite ends of the cell. Those homologous After chromosome pair. chromosome separation, membrane vesicles line up in the center and fuse with each other to form the new plasma membranes that separate the two daughter cells. And that's going to be that plate that I was talking about. So if you notice that the chromosomes start becoming less uh, condensed and they actually go back into their chromatin form. At telophase, the chromosomes decondense in the newly formed nuclei. Okay. So now we're going to go through what's called all IP mat. Um, we're going to go through the phases of the cell cycle, phases of mitosis. This is the thing that I'm going to want you, actually for this one I want you to draw this, which actually talks a little bit more about the, term, uh, the terms that are actually found in a cell. Differential interference contrast microscopy is used here to visualize. Got to remember YouTube does that. Okay, so IP mat. IP mat. I'm going to actually bold the first letter we're going to talk about in the section that's on this slide. This is interphase. This is when the cell's doing um, the normal job. 95% of the cell's life will actually happen in this. I'm getting these uh, pictures, which I think are really good artistic drawings from this site. You can see those. So we have centrioles um, down here. And we have chromatin, uh, two different flavors in there, in the nuclear membrane, which is floating inside this animal cell. I want to show the same sort of thing in this kind of a diagram with a plant cell, um, angular and non-angular. So this is the normal cell. This is when the normal cell does its job, like a muscle cell, it's muscling. Um, nucleus is undergoing um, mitosis, except it's not going to happen yet, because this is the cell when it's doing its normal stuff. The first phase of meta of uh, this actual cell cycle or um, mitosis is called prophase, so it's the P in IP mat. This is what I would like you to draw, and what you actually see is we see asters starting to form. So let's see what they say here. Nuclear membrane starts to degenerate. Chromosomes are floating in the cytoplasm. Um, with the, this thing is gone, they're floating in the cytoplasm, and they're composed of sister chromatids. Uh, the centrioles have actually completed migration to the poles and they're starting to make their microtubules. Uh, but this time they're called asters because they represented like a star. And here's the same sort of a picture in a plant cell. Notice that the plant cell doesn't have the centrioles. Um, they basically, the, these uh, microtubules actually come from a point in the cell rather than an um, organelle of a cell. Here's where the chromosomes line up in the center. This is called metaphase. Um, spindle fibers are actually starting to attach to the centrosome, uh, centromere, um, actually in the chromosome. So it's actually grabbing on to, in this case, the upper part and the lower part of each of these X chromosomes. And I would like you to draw this. Anaphase, the I in PMAT. This is where the chromatids are split apart. They start traveling toward the poles of the cell. Um, the cell membrane starts to pinch in 
Um, so it's actually starting its cleavage furlough in an animal cell. Um, it does that in a plant cell. Uh, they start moving and nothing really happens in the pinching part because of the cell wall. In telophase, the T, um, we actually are going to start getting uh, this cleavage furlough very obvious. Okay, and again, you're drawing this image, and from here, chromosomes start to uncoil, and they start to form the nuclear membrane, and we start getting that pinch. Uh, we start getting the cell plate actually forming in the plant cell. So with the division of the cytoplasm has begun, each of these cells is going to be one half the size of the normal cell, but the cell cycle will increase that. This was the T in IPMAT. We're actually adding a C to IPMAT-C, and this is the cytokinesis. And here's where we actually have made two new daughter cells, chromatin, nuclear membrane. And we actually have the same thing with the cell plate forming um, half the size. And this is going to be mitosis in real time. Actually, let's go ahead and talk about this one. Mitosis cell division are complete. We now produce two new daughter cells, and normal nuclei is now seen mitosis in real time. These are frog cells. Centrioles, metaphase, forming of two new cells, and we just doubled the cells. And we're not going to do that. Okay. I said we are not doing that. That is the end of this section, and I will put those uh, YouTube sites on the website. Thank you much. Bye.